guy here to tell you that we're excited because we've just got in a big fat stack restock of our very popular bucket hats. Now there's a few things I've got to tell you about these. When you come into this shot, you're gonna to see tons of different color combos, sizes, and actually different styles. And we're gonna get into those in just a second. There's a few reasons that I love these. The particular one that I am wearing has an option of putting the strap back here. It's got a little spot for it. I'll spin here and show you that you can, it's got a little elastic adjuster to make your hat tighter or looser in the particular size that you might pick but you can also use that and just snap that strap back there if you don't want it in your way because really after you adjust the elastic and make it tight to your liking you probably don't need the strap but if it's extra windy which we have experienced here in reno you can get under the chin and be bulletproof this is called the no fly zone that's kind of weird there's a couple of hat styles in the shop that have the this no fly zone feature built in you're going to see a white tag hanging off them it says no fly zone inside the tag it says no fly zone what is no fly zone it definitely has nothing to do with not throwing discs because that's exactly why we want these it's actually got an insect barrier built into the hat that can come in handy when you're at places like Stampede or Donner Ski Ranch in the evening where mosquitoes start to swarm or Truckee or look at Zephyr Cove, any of those spots. Recently, I was throwing warming up for the Stampede Tournament with a friend. He was getting zapped and I feel like I was not and I didn't have in insect repellent. I'm not saying it was all because of this because I get bit less than him anyway, but I do think this may have helped and they wouldn't sell it as a feature if it did it, okay? That's one thing I like about this particular model, or two things. So the great feature, of course, on these is more sun protection. A friend of mine who worked in a dermatologist's office said we're always taking people's ears, meaning cutting off skin cancer from people's ears or taking big chunks of someone's ear off because they had too much sun exposure, which is one of the reasons I love these because they not only protect your ears from the sun, they're also making more of an effort to keep the sun off your neck, another area of high exposure to help keep you shielded from the sun's damaging rays. Let's say you are looking uphill at a putt you need to nail and you're like, Ugh, this thing's riding a little tight on my visor. You're looking up and you feel like, what if it cramps my style on my uphill putt? I like to do this in that instance and I go, all right, no more talking. Talking's done. Do it or die. Pshh, putt. Okay. That means it's time for business. Zap, zap, zap. All right. That's fine. Okay. But you can also use this concept to add extra style to your hat wearing adventures. Like, mm, what's this one called? What's well, all up on the side? Maybe that's the Crocodile Dundee. Maybe we go like this and you flip it up in the back and you're like, Ooh, Inspector Gadget, time for detecting a lost disc or whatever. Bat. This is this is one that I've had for nearly two years. My black one, I've got strapped down on the no-fly zone model. Anyway, I like these quite a bit. In the shop, there's also larger models. I think they're called Bowie or Boonie hats that have brims that are flatter. It's not really a bucket hat, it's flatter. It's larger, it's a bigger sun shield. Those also, you'll see them, I believe on the table in between the Innova driver rack and the shirt rack, somewhere in there. Those also have, if you look in the tag, the no-fly zone feature built in. In addition to the no-fly zone models, there's some other models. We're going to check them out here. There are some 100% cotton twill versions. If you're someone who doesn't like synthetic fibers, or if you just like the feel of a classic twill bucket hat. There are some that have tighter brims that stay tighter on your head, but because of the angle, they still offer great sun protection for your nose, face, and ears. And again, all of these have, a, have quite a selection for color combinations and give you size options to offer the perfect sun protection hat for your noggin. So there we have it, folks. Come on in and check out the selection and see what you can find to better protect yourself up here at high elevation during the summer month for your disc golf expeditions. Scott, out.